hello welcome my name is Amulli and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install latest version in Java SE on Microsoft Windows so this is Microsoft Windows 10 your system must be 64 bit system type to download latest version of Java SE okay so to check your system system type you can simply go ahead and press the Windows key and pause and break button on the right top of your keyboard so windows key wherever it is on the left bottom and pause break button on the right top so as soon as you do this you'll get to this system type 64 bit and 64 bit processor now you can also go to control panel and then you go to system and security then you go to system and here you see 64 bit operating system and 64-bit processor all right so let's let's get back to the business now here go ahead and fire up your browser and go to this web URL which is oracle.com tech network so that is oracle.com slash tech network slash Java simply hit enter and you will be landing on this page otherwise you can get this URL from the description I will leave in the description as well so now you can see Java SE 13.01 was released in October and that was on October the 15th 2019 so this is the latest version of Java SE if you're looking for stable one you can go with this Java SE 11.05 so go ahead and click in this video I'm going to download this Java SE 13.01 which is latest version of Java SE go ahead and click on it and this will take you to this Java SE 13.01 download section now here you can go ahead and click this download so this is going to download Java SE 13.01 in case if you're looking for java se lts release go ahead and download this 11.05 now so go ahead and click here download oracle jdk download now uh, there are important oracle jdk license update that you want to go through if you wish to otherwise scroll down make sure you check this radio button here which says accept license agreement and then locate the file the download file so we have exe file and a zip file so this is a portable one which is obviously if you want to port to other operating system you can download this one if you want to install it on the same system where there is an internet you can go ahead and download this bin exe file so go ahead and click and save it so I'm going to save it on the desktop you can save it in downloads wherever you wish and then say save so what I'm going to do I already have downloaded it for you to save time so I'm going to cancel it and it is on my desktop so here we have our Java SE also called JDK 13.01 64-bit for Microsoft Windows 10 or 7 or 8 or whatever it is go ahead and right click make sure you have privileges to install the application on your system however if you have Microsoft server you should not have any issues with, uh, on that as well now you can simply go ahead and click open or you can simply say you can simply double click on it it's the same thing okay now if you are using Microsoft Windows 10 8 8.1 you may get this security window you simply say install anyway and now this is going to install the Java SE 13.01 now say yes on user account control window so this is Java SE development environment here setup wizard SE development kit 13.01 say next 
and this is where it's going to be installed now say next and this is going to take some time because it's a huge development kit so will take some time what you can do you can pause the video once it's installed on your system come back thank you for your patience you can see java se development kit 13.01 64-bit successfully installed go ahead and say close now if you go ahead and launch this terminal and say java c java c is not recognized java oops java is installed because i'm runtime which is java se i'm using something else so what we need to do we need to add this to the system variable path so what we're going to do we go ahead and launch the windows explorer and then go to c drive and here is your java folder go into it and then go to jdk and then go to bin what do you have to do now so everything is here you can see so we are trying to execute java and java c you can find them here java p uh, so these these the, if you want to execute these um, files we need to you can see we've got java c here so we need to add this to our system variable path so go ahead and click on start menu simply type variable and go to click edit system variable and here environment variable under system variable just select path and say edit and hit new and then say just paste it okay and then click ok 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 now if you go back and relaunch remember relaunch uh, the job as command command prompt and say version you'll see it says 1.8.0 this means you got installed java on your system from java.com so that needs to be this uh, uninstalled so what you need to do simply go to okay so i would not use the shortcut go to control panel and here you go to programs or uninstall program and this is 13 we also have java 8 updates installed here so we need to uninstall it so that is basically clashing with this java se development kit so once that's uninstalled if you have installed it otherwise you are good to go go ahead and relaunch your terminal make sure you always relaunch it so now you say java version is going to be 13.01 java c oops version that's going to be 13.01 okay so this is how you download java se the latest version of it that is 13.01 and the process is going to be same for the lts and latest whatever java se development kit you're going to install so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now